infinite reiteration. In certain scenarios, we might need a sprite move or do something infinitely as long as animation is in progress. For example, revolution of a planet, circular motion of any sprite or rainfall, etc. Infinite reiteration is implemented using forever block in control category. Let's create a twinkling star using forever block. Add the sprite star 3 from the sprite library and shrink it to a moderate size. Using costumes tab, change star 3 color to pale yellow. In sprites palette, select stage 1 backdrop. Go to backdrops tab. Using fill with color tool, apply black backdrop color. In sprites palette, select the sprite star 3. Add when space key pressed block from events category. Add forever block to your script from control category. Add set color effect to block from looks category and set its value to 100. Add wait seconds block and set seconds to 1. Add change size by this block and set its value to 10. Add wait these seconds block from control category and set seconds to 2. Add change size by this block from looks category and set its value to minus 10. Add set color effect to this block from looks category and set its value to 200. Press space bar to run the animation. To stop the animation, Click on Stop Animation icon above the stage. Generating Random Numbers Many times we need random values. For example, positioning a target at an unpredictable point in a shooting game. Computer generates random numbers between a range of two numbers. For example, between 1 and 10, computer would generate every time any of these numbers randomly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Scratch provides us pick random this to this block in operators category to generate random numbers. Let us consider this small example. Here, the sprite will move randomly by as many steps as randomly generated between 50 and 200 every time you click on Run Animation icon. When you run the animation, every time you will notice that sprite moves different number of steps randomly. Guided Project My First Game in Scratch what is the game about? In this simple game, we shall make a froggy move leftward or rightward using arrow keys. A bug will fall randomly from the top, which froggy needs to eat before the bug touches the ground. Froggy scores one point every time it is successful in eating the bug. There are five lives during which player has to gain maximum score. The game stops when the bug touches the ground fifth time. What do we need? Sprites, frog and beetle, variables, variable score to keep the score of the player, and variable life to count the lives available to the player. Stage preparation. From sprite gallery, add a frog and a beetle from animals category. In sprites palette, Select Stage Backdrop and go to Backdrops tab. Click on Choose Backdrop from Library option. Select the backdrop Blue Sky. In Backdrop Editor, use Select tool and click on the Blue Sky picture. It will be selected. Click on Ungroup tool to break the picture into its separate parts. Click and delete unwanted parts and resize the remaining part so that backdrop looks as shown here. Adding variables to the stage. In scripts tab, go to data category and click on make a variable option.
Give variable name as score and click OK. Similarly, create the variable life. Finally, your stage will look like this. Making the froggy move. In sprites palette, select the sprite frog. In scripts tab, go to events category and add. When this key pressed, block to your script. Select right arrow from the keys drop down. Go to motion category and add point in direction dash block and set its value to 90. Add move dash steps block and set its value to 10. Create a similar set of instructions for event. When left arrow key pressed and set the direction to minus 90. The game control script for beetle. Initializing variables and placing the beetle randomly on the stage top. The game will start when user clicks on run animation icon. So add when flag clicked block from events category. Use data block set to set variable life to value 5 and variable score to 0. The beetle should be placed on top of stage at y is equal to 160 and x is equal to any random value between minus 200 and 200. Use motion block go to x, y along with operator block pick random with values between minus 200 and 200 for x and 160 for y. When the game starts, the beetle will keep falling randomly from the top and frog should eat it. Falling of the beetle will go on infinitely until the game is over. So, add control block forever to the script. Forever block. Forever block has logically three parts. Moving the beetle seven steps down. Use motion block move with value seven four steps. Checking if the beetle touches the dark green color of the frog. Checking if the beetle touches the light green color of the ground. If the beetle touches the frog, add sensing block touching color to the condition section of if and set the color to the green color of frog. Add motion block go to and set value of y to 160. Add operator block pick random to the value for x in go to block and set the values for random number range as minus 200 to 200. Since frog is successful in eating the beetle, so score should be increased by 1. Add data block change by select variable score from drop down list and set value for by as 1. If the beetle touches the ground, Add sensing block touching color to the condition section of if and set the color to the green color of ground. Add motion block go to and set value of y to 160. Add operator block pick random to the value of x in go to block and set the values for random number range as minus 200 to 200. Since frog is unsuccessful in eating the beetle, so life should be decreased by 1. Add data block change by select variable life from drop down list and set value for by as minus 1. Check if all 5 lives have expired, value of variable life has become 0. Stop the game if all 5 lives have expired. As the last part in the second if block, Add another control block if. In the condition section of this newly added if, add operator block is equal to. Before is equal to add variable life from data category and after equal to, mention the value 0. Once life is 0, the game should stop. Inside this if block, add control block stop and see its value to all from its drop down list. Stopping the game on spacebar key press. Add event block when key pressed and select space from the drop down list. Add